Hey, it's Craig. I'm out in the garage today and I've just picked up this from Amazon. It's the KK Moon 600X magnifying screen with recorder up to 1080p. So this should be really helpful to do in the projects that I'm working on. Um, my eyesight's not as good as it used to be, so uh, any little bit of help will be great. Um, but I'm really excited to have a look at this. The reviews are mixed. Some people saying I absolutely love it. Other people saying that it's failed and it's not working for them. Um, but yeah, quite excited. It was £35 delivered on Amazon Prime, so not too bad an investment. Let's give it a go and see what it's like. Okay, so this has just arrived from Amazon. It's the KK Moon 600X. Apparently this records in 1080p, which will be cool for editing and putting into my videos when I'm doing retro projects and soldering and other close-up items that you can't currently see. So let's have a look at the system, see what it's set up like, see what the quality's like, and yeah, do a bit of a review on this 600X KK Moon magnifying uh, screen with recorder. Here we go. Okay, so there's the unit, the microscope at the bottom, the adjusters and focus. So far, not looking too bad. And this is the arms. Nice quality aluminium adjuster for this. Take the height up and down when you're working on different projects. Some brackets. USB cable power supply and a base plate so let's try and put this together okay so let's get this thing together uh, first things first this little packet it's got the bracket on there two bolts and an allen key as well so you don't even need any tools for this let's give it a go Side. We've got one, two bolts, and key. I'm assuming they go through the base of here. One, two bolts, and screw into the base of that. I'll try and do this so you can see it on the camera. Okay, so they're screwed in. We now have that set up on here. I'm guessing now this screws into here without cross threading it. Okay, so offset it, set it so it's nice and straight, and then use the adjusting wheel tighten it up into place and we have now have a stand I think that quite simply these unscrew a bit to give it a bit of slack and this base unit pops into here okay and then we can adjust the height on it Okay, so that's quite easy to build. That was a nice easy couple of steps. Everything came with the kit to set it up and build it. Uh, next thing is power. So we've got supplied, oh, it's the old style USB. So it's the old chunky connector, a bit like the old GoPros. We get that plugged in. And the great thing is it comes with a UK mains. USB power supply as well. Let's take that open. Okay, so USB power. 
plug that in there. So that's plugged into that. This cable into the back of the other side. Okay, so that plugs into the side of the device here. I'm going to plug this into the wall. Okay, so that's plugged into the wall and powered up. And now we're plugged into the back of the unit here. And let's give this a power up and see what it does. Wow, that's bright. That's really bright. Okay, so it's got an LED built into the base of the lens. And then the screen is quite bright as well. Wow, that is super bright. I'm going to need to test this out with something. Right, what can we do? Let's put a battery under there for now. Okay, so I'm going to think this dial on the front gives you the sharpness. Look at that! So a Duracell battery underneath it. And that is the detail we're getting on it. I don't know whether, that's, whether there's any further adjustment into that. I suppose the closer in I'd go. That focus. Wow. Look at that detail. I am mega impressed with that. Let's see how close I can get and still get focus on it. No, I think we're about the limit there. Wow. So that is the detail we're getting from this close up on the Duracell battery and that is the detail we're getting from the print of the I think it's the letter R, the curve of the letter R, that's amazing ok let's try and get the word plus wow look at the gold on that ok so that's the top of the P there I'm going to get the detail on that, look at that you can see all the crystal flecks in there from the paint of the P Let's go to the plus sign. Wow, so that's the plus sign of the battery. Wow, so far I'm pretty impressed with that. That's a little quick test on it on a looking at a Duracell battery, and the detail is amazing. I'm gonna go and find an SD card now and test out the recording on there and see what other features it's got. But initial thoughts on this pretty good and I think that's going to be really handy especially for soldering some detailed elements looking at the pins when we're doing um, some of the EEPROM type work and the little uh, chipsets that we've got to work on on some of the games consoles and boards that I'm looking at um, yeah this is going to be really handy a really good investment so far I'm pretty pleased with it but let's keep going and see what else it can do catch you in a bit okay so just taking the SD card inside and put it into the laptop and the videos are pretty good. I didn't realize it actually records with sound as well. Um, I'm gonna put some of the videos on now so you can see what the quality's like. Um, looking at it back, it's it's more of a useful tool when you're actually soldering and working on the items than video playback and things for reference because it's so close in. You don't really get to see what you're moving around and what you're soldering. It also looks really messy, the soldering that you're doing, but it's, it's not so much that it's messy, it's just that it's so zoomed in, every single 
detail is shown on that video. I'm pretty impressed with it. The amount of detail you're getting out of that video is, is unbelievable. I'll be using this a lot more in the future. So I've just done a bivert mod on the Game Boy with it. I didn't film it all for because I've got other videos up which you can have a look at. But it was project project that it normally takes me probably about an hour because it's so fiddly and small. Um, five, ten minutes, easy piece of work. Get right into the detail of that and soldering. You can see when you lifted the, enough solder off those pins to lift them up, slide it in, solder it in place, all done. And then, yeah, put it all back together, tested it, all working lovely. And so what I'm going to do now is use it for another project. I'm going to do some other bits and pieces with it, test it out. It did freeze once, which was a bit of a nightmare. The only way that I could get it back to normal was to unplug the power supply, turn it around, and there's a little pinhole for a reset button. Put a small screwdriver tip into there, and a really, really small one from that set that I've got and it reset it and it's been working fine since. So I don't know whether it just got a little bit hot because I was soldering underneath it as well, but hopefully that shouldn't be the case because that's one of the main reasons I bought this. But other than that, I think so far build quality, really nice, that aluminium style stand is really sturdy, gives you an, enough height to get it up out of the way that you can see a little bit more of the board from that uh, distance. The camera quality is lovely, I, I'm really impressed with it, much better than I thought it was going to be. The output resolution on the files is a little bit of a strange, uh, strange file size. It's not 1080p as the, the manual says, unless I've changed the setting in there, but it's certainly not 1080 at the moment, but I'll have a look at playing around with that. Um, but yeah, so far, really impressed with this. So this is the KK Moon 600X magnifying screen and SD card recorder. Bought it on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful to you if you're considering the KK Moon 600X. The video quality and everything else, the build quality, has been pretty impressive for £35. Um, can't go wrong with that really. Just fingers crossed it keeps going and working like that for a longer time. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please do the usual thing. Subscribe to my channel. Lots of new projects coming along. Like this video and comment down below any questions you've got about this. Thanks a lot.